Avondale families, students, parents, staff. It's Mr. Seal, the principal here. Now, um, I'm outside here in the garden, which is one of my favorite places in the entire school to go. And uh, I'm out here just kind of getting a little, uh, little sun out here. It's a beautiful day out here in the garden and things are blooming. You can see behind me just some flowers and you can, um, oh, back here you can see uh, sunflowers. Yeah, there they are right behind me right here. Um, I'm taking my mask off because I'm outside, but I did want to uh, at least start the video and you can rewind and check this out again. Um, modeling how the masks need to be worn. And that kind of leads me into the main thing I wanted to talk about. And that has to do with student safety and staff safety here at uh, Avondale. Um, I know that there are a lot of different reports uh, talking about um, uh, increased COVID cases and the Delta variant. And that's certainly something that the school system is trying to be very proactive about. That, um, And that's something that I feel like all along in the past year and a half, uh, Birmingham City has been uh, very proactive and has uh, always erred on the side of caution, uh, which is what you have to do when you're dealing with something as serious as COVID-19. Um, but here at Avondale, uh, we are not uh, ignorant of the fact that uh, we can't just um, uh, wait to be told what to do. Um, and so to that end, we are making sure that we are enforcing our mask policy amongst staff and students and anyone who comes in the building. And we've had a couple of parents get a little annoyed with us because we wouldn't let them in because they didn't have a mask. Well, we provide masks, so it's not like you can't come in. Um, but you do have to wear one and sorry if that makes you upset, but I'm not gonna, actually I'm not sorry. I'm not gonna apologize for uh, student safety. So um, it's not a problem, just put the mask on and then if you feel so inclined, once you get outside, you can do whatever you want with the mask. Um, but here's something else that we're doing. Uh, you know, last school year, uh, we did not, students did not come to school on Wednesdays and that day was set aside for teachers to do professional development remotely but for custodial staffs to come into the building on Wednesdays and sanitize the entire building. Well, we don't have a day like that in our schedule right now, but what we are doing is the custodial staff, both before students get here in the morning and after they leave in the afternoon, uh, we are taking parts of the building at a time and we are making sure to sanitize the entire building. And that's not something we were told to do, but something that the custodial staff and I both agree um, is something that needs to be done. And, uh, you know, will that make a difference? I don't know, but I do know that last year, Avondale Elementary uh, was one of the schools that had some of the fewest numbers of COVID cases amongst staff and students who had to quarantine. So I feel like what we were doing last year uh, was working. And so th those are the things that we're gonna be doing uh, this year as well. We just feel like it's time for us to, to do that. Um, there are certain uh, protocols that we follow that when I say we I mean the school system in regards to COVID-19 if a staff member or if a student um, gets the virus and tests positive um, and this is kind of a uh, no news is good news type situation um, if you don't hear anything then it means your child has not been um, exposed to the virus and that they have not um, been in close enough contact for you to be uh, contacted. Um, obviously for uh, privacy reasons we can't just I can't just make a video where I say hey guess what three of our teachers and here are their names have COVID. Can't do that. Um, but Nurse Armstrong who was awesome and her supervisor Nurse Arrington who's also terrific um, they work very closely with the Department of Health and the CDC and Dr. Sullivan and the board there, they take a lot of those rec, they take all of those recommendations very, very seriously. And so rest assured that we are gonna follow those protocols to the letter. And um, if at any point we feel like your child has uh, had exposure to the virus, you will be contacted immediately. Um, so I think one thing that's important is to uh, make sure that we're not, um, um, we're not relying too much on rumors and gossip. You know, well, I heard that so-and-so has COVID. You know, eh, 
just trust us when we say that we will definitely let you know and we are definitely following the protocols if there is a situation where uh, you need to be notified. In the meantime, if you can impress upon your children the need for uh, keeping their masks on, of washing their hands and using hand sanitizer, um, of uh, being careful when they're outside of school, and that sort of thing, then that would be terrific. We've already, uh, you know, gone back to all grades eating in the classroom. Nobody's eating in the cafeteria. Um, we've, uh, when kids are outside, when they're outside, uh, they've got, you know, masks on. And so uh, we're trying to do what we can to minimize the exposure and the opportunities to contract the virus here in the building. Um, but it's a team effort. And obviously once kids, you know, leave our building at the end of the afternoon, we can't control anything that occurs. Uh, so uh, we're, uh, you know, counting on the folks at home to also help us out with that. If you have any questions in regards to the COVID protocols or any of those policies, uh, my email address is on the website. Uh, also, uh, Nurse Armstrong's email is on uh, our Avondale website. Feel free to contact us with any questions. It's, it's a complicated thing. It's a complicated thing, um, but it's also a serious thing. And anything that involves the health and safety of kids is something that if, we're, if, if you're ever unsure about it, you wanna ask those questions. And we are happy to, if we don't know the answer, find the answer. And if we do know the answer, let you know. Uh, so again, the, the, and the phone number here is 231-7131. Um, but uh, probably the quickest way to uh, uh, get with, with me or the nurse to ask some of those questions would be through email. Thanks a lot for your support everything we do here at Avondale and uh, we're going to continue having an awesome year and uh, that takes uh, it takes the administration and it takes the teachers and it takes the kids and it takes the parents all of us working together to make that happen. Thanks a lot and have a great evening.